looks like the state trooper is waving me out. All right, so the state trooper here has made me get out and is doing an inspection. What's up, everybody? So we are rolling into the port here with our custom Peterbilt 379 and the car trailer. Got to go through this checkpoint right here. For those of you that missed this truck, we did actually use it in our 1,000 subscriber special. Because we are going over to the port over there. It is about 8 o'clock, so we're actually going to pull in get some rest before we load up. We are going to be loading up with a load of cars from the port here and get them out to a car dealership. It looks like we have to go through this checkpoint right up here, so I'm going to go ahead and roll my window down so I can talk to the... talk to them in there. And I'm going to explain exactly why we're going to be hauling cars here, actually. A little bit of a life update on me. So keep inching up here. Let me hit the buzzard here. No stops, no brakes. Got to do a security checkpoint. All right, there we go. Looks like we got released. Past the security checkpoint. No surprise there, of course. So. Pull right up here. We're actually going to end up backing in over here and getting some shut eye before we head out. Before we head out, we also have to get some fuel at a gas station nearby. Absolutely love this truck though. Again, go check out my 1000 subscriber special if you guys missed that. As I said, we are going to be hauling cars, picking it up from Kansas City to Wichita. Looks like they want us to back it in over there. In fact, I actually used to work for a place that did this. They would unload cars off the trains here, and then they would, in fact, get loaded onto trucks just like that one there, and just like ours. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and roll on in here and back it in park. We're actually going to get some sleep before we head out, too. So we're going to sleep here. I talked to them. They said it's all right if I sleep here, just not allowed to get out of my truck or anything. We're going to try backing her in right there without hitting anything. This will actually be my for cars, so this will be interesting. Alright, let's go ahead. Put her head out the window, see exactly where I'm heading. It's looking pretty good so far. Let's see if we can get her straightened up there. Looks like we're doing all right. all right. Let's keep backing her right on in. Man, that truck looks so good with the lights. Fully custom and the chrome and everything. Absolutely love it. So right there looks pretty good. Go ahead and hit our brakes. Hit the trailer brakes as well. I'm going to roll my window up also. The window rolled on up. And let's go ahead and shut the truck off. And let's get loaded up. Alright, as you guys can see, it is late. It's 9 o'clock. took about an hour to load the cars up. Alright, so we did end up sleeping here overnight. And as you can see around us, it looks like this port had a pretty busy evening. It was kind of hard to sleep with all the loud noises going on. But, you know, we're truck drivers, so we're quite used to it. So, anyway, let's get this baby fired up. And we are going to have to stop and get some fuel along the way. I'm going to and release all these brakes. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Release the trailer brakes as well. There we go. Oh, this truck's so, so nice. Love the way it sounds, love the way it looks. Again, this is my first time hauling cars. Now, once we get out on the road here, out of the security checkpoint, I'm gonna explain why we're hauling cars what the importance is in my life. I'm trying not to break any speed limits here, of course. Looks like it's only 10 miles an hour. Another truck rolling in, that's cool. Come through this spot right here. Now we got a security checkpoint up ahead. Go ahead and roll my window down for him so we can talk to the security here. Check out. Absolutely love this truck. Alright, let's roll on up 
dear. There we go. Fred Billy Gaming leaving with a load of cars. Alright, there we go. We passed security. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Again, watching the speed limit. It is only 10 miles an hour through here. Absolutely gorgeous morning out here at the port. I absolutely love ports. Like I said in the beginning, I earlier I did used to work for a company that would actually take the cars off of the trains and prep them for the dealerships, which is kind of like what we just did. So I'm gonna turn left here. Go ahead and get our turn signal on. Come to a stop there. This might be a little bit of a longer light. Maybe not. Looks like it's stopping now for us. There we go. We got it green. So let's go ahead and go. We'll be turning right immediately after. Go ahead and get my right turn signal on. Hopefully nobody's over there. Looks like we're good. Turn right. Make this turn here. Nobody's coming. We are good to go. First diamond here. That is very accurate to this area. You guys know I live in the Midwest. So let's go ahead and jump on the highway now and get her up to speed. Love the smokestack angle on it. Hopefully nobody's coming. Yep, looks like we're good. going here. Speed limit 75 through here. Absolutely beautiful morning out today. So some of you guys were wondering why am I hauling cars and what's the importance of it? Like about a year ago, I know, as some of you guys may know, I did actually used to sell Harley Davidson's. I worked at a Harley Davidson store and I was a salesman there selling Harley Davidson motorcycle. Just like that truck you see right there, that actually looks really, really good, both the truck and trailer combination. About a year ago, a lot of things did happen in my life and I did make a lot of changes, which is part of the reason why I didn't have a whole lot of time to make these videos. But I did end up leaving the Harley Davidson store. Okay, let me get over here, let this guy out. A pretty nice tandem trailer. I did end up leaving the Harley Davidson store. I was a salesman at so Harley's. And I actually took a job at a Ford store. And I'm a car salesman for a Ford store. Been there for just over a year now. And actually, by the time you guys are watching this video, <laughs> I've already made some life changes. That I'm excited to tell you guys about here in the near future. By the time you guys see this video, there's a good chance I already have made some life changes coming up. That I'm very excited to share with you guys. Right. Right. Oh, looks like our exit's coming up. We gotta get gas before we get going. Get that awesome jig break. Try to slow down a bit. There we go. Absolutely love the jigs on this. State Trooper over there, hopefully to make us come through that little scale station. Alright, 
Alright, make this nice turn. Don't keep looking at me, cop. We're gonna go right over here to where the semi trucks get fueled. And we'll pull up right here. Get some fuel here. Alright, hit the brakes. There we go. Let me go ahead. Let me get out of the truck here and walk over and let's get fueled up here. Grab the diesel nozzle and put it in. Get fueled up. There we go. Getting her all fueled up. One thing I do wish, I wish this game would let you fuel up while you're still, while the engine's still idling, just like in real life. But as you guys see, it took 106 gallons, so 360 bucks. Alright, and she is topped off. This is just the SES standard car trailer in the game. I do plan on actually making a full on car hauler. I know there's a couple of mods out there I'm going to end up getting in the future. I think that'll be pretty nice. But this does look really, really good. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Road. Alright. Essentially, I'm going to make a really big turnaround. Not sure if this goes around the building or not. I guess we're about to find out. Looks like it might. Might be easier than just looping around, blocking other semi trucks from getting fuel. Nice little service shop right there. Other trucks parked, either sleeping for the night, sleeping for the day, or getting serviced, or probably in there getting showers. They have a really nice bathroom in there. A nice place to sleep. Probably better to sleep here than at the port where I did. Absolutely love the wide variety of trailers and trucks that are out here right now. I am on update 1.51 now, so they did add a lot to the game, which I'm very proud of. Oh crap, it looks like the state trooper is waving me on here. He is making me do an inspection here, so I do have to roll across the scales. Finding a new route. Alright, come across the scales. Yeah, I know, I know. Stop. Wants me to stop, get weighed, do an inspection. Alright, All right, so the state trooper here has made me get out and is doing an inspection on me, including weighing it. Which I have no fears that we're overweight and we are perfectly fine right there, as you guys see. 60,000 gross vehicle weight. He did check my tires and everything, check my brakes, my log books. We are good to go. Hopefully now we can get on the road and get this delivery made. Looks like we gotta make this really wide turn here. Gonna swing wide. Hopefully nobody's turning in. Okay, let's find a new route.
excited for them to release Missouri. By the time you guys are seeing this, they will have already released Arkansas, which we will be in. Looks like I gotta keep a left here. Uh, we will be in Arkansas very, very soon. So if you guys... Oh, looks like speed limit drastically drops. Come through a city, speed limit drastically drops. Drop down to 45, so I am speeding, speeding. As I had said, by the time you guys see this video, I will have already made some other changes in life. But we'll go over that again later. I wanted to try to keep you guys updated on what's going on in my life outside of gaming. I know I had a little personal touch to it, of course. That's a really nice prime truck in front of me. You guys can see the way my brain works. I'm just constantly distracted by everything going on around. Awesome about being a car salesman actually and 
Just gonna turn left here? I guess, okay. I was about to say, it won't let me turn left here, but yeah, well. Something that's awesome about being a car salesman actually and being into this game. Something you guys probably won't even believe. I actually did take a semi truck in on trade. For a car, out of all things, believe it or not. It was a Freightliner Cascadia. Or Freightliner Cascadia with just a just under a million miles on it. Looks like we're going to be turning right here. Let's make sure I'm clear. We're good to go. Just under a million miles on it. The guy actually traded for a Yukon Denali out of all things. It was pretty wild. I actually can say I got into a semi truck for once for the first time in real life. I did get pictures of it. I will share with you guys in the near future. right there so I'd say it's gonna be where we're delivering it to. That'd be cool if we could actually unload these cars from it. Yep. Here is the dealership. It is in fact a Ford dealership too so that's what's awesome. So let's go ahead swinger wide here. Looks like a Ford and GMC dealership, that's interesting. I know it's not 100% accurate in game, but it's still pretty cool. Here we uh, this one will be an easy back in. I'm just gonna pull right down this little alleyway here. Drop her down, let me go ahead and roll my windows down so I can stick my head out if need be. Oh yeah, this will be an easy one here. Might be the easiest one I've had to do yet. There are some cars straight ahead, but that'll be okay. We're a little out of our way. Let's get that trailer straightened up. 
that are in the so like there's another car being delivered or another car hauler delivering. Just a little bit, I was trying not to hit the cars. quick walk over here and check out the cars. Looks like we got some GMCs. Oh, this must be the pre-owned side maybe because we have some GMCs here. Looks like we have a Ram, couple Rams, and then there's the Fords. Quite a few Raptors here. Anyways, I just wanted to check out the cars that they have here currently. I absolutely am loving this truck. Again, this is what I used and built in my 1000 subscriber special. Kenworth 379, fully custom with the custom lighting and everything on it. Looks really, really good. I do wish it was an official car trailer hauler with the car on top. That will come in the near future. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this kind of content. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoyed it. Also, comment below what do you do for a living and comment below what kind of videos do you want to see next. I am always open to suggestions on what you guys like to watch and that's what we will do. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.